Let's talk about the Avengers. Does it say something about me that I think that Loki is low-key kind of hot? Now don't get me wrong, I love me some Captain America and I especially love me some Thor. But Loki? He does it for me too. I have always had a thing for the villains, like Michael Rosenbaum who plays Lex Luthor in Smallville. Mm. He was a great crush of mine. It's just, I don't know what it says about me. If you think it says something about me, leave it in the comments. Let's talk about the movie as a whole though. So The Avengers, again, is part of the huge Marvel franchise. And it is, it is an amazing kickoff movie. I love this movie. There's so many good things about this movie. Tony Stark is on my nerves, but we'll get into that. Watching this movie made me want to go back and rewatch some of the other Phase 1 Marvel movies. I haven't seen the original Thor or the original Captain America or even Captain America Winter Soldier in a few years and just to see them come together for the first time and remember all those storylines was very exciting for me and it really reignited my passion for the series. And there's, this is the reason why it's in the 501 Musty movies is because this franchise, whether you like it or not, is a huge, huge influencer on culture. It's very entertaining. You'd be very hard to find someone who hasn't seen at least one of the movies. Aside from gushing over how great this movie is, I do want to point out two things about Tony Stark or Iron Man that are just, I'm just so over him. I know people love him, but he's so frustrating. Like when they first kidnap Loki, Thor comes and tries to take him away, and then Iron Man and Thor have this fight over Loki, and it's just really like, it's a dick measuring contest, is what it is. It's just insane, and absolutely nobody is watching the prisoner. They're in this huge fight, and Loki's just sitting there unsupervised. I don't even know how they still got him as a prisoner, because there's no way that if Loki was unsupervised for that amount of time with them that distracted with themselves, that he wouldn't have found a way to get out. It's just insane. And Tony Stark is just, doesn't even pay attention to things that are the most important. Like good thing the script said that Loki still gets caught because in the real world, Loki's out of there and you just lost yourself a prisoner. The next thing about Tony Stark that I want to mention is everyone says he's a super genius and they open a movie with him opening a tower that's Stark Towers, it's a power generating tower or it's sustainable on its own power. Whatever the heck it is, I don't care. So many times during the movie they say, all that Loki needs for the Tesla is a power source. All that they need is a power source. And Tony Stark, the billionaire genius, doesn't put it together until like the third act, like, oh, my tower is a power source. That must be where they're going. Well, obviously Tony Stark, Everyone else is on, on that train already. What took you so long? Okay, I will get over my Tony Stark hatred. Well, I won't get over my Tony Stark hatred, but I'll stop talking about it. The movie's great. The action scenes are great. The spliced in comedy, this action comedy genre is wonderful. Scarlett Johansson's butt in those tight pants, wonderful. And it's in, the, it's in the book for a reason, and it is a must-see if you've never seen it before. So if you want to continue on this journey, hit the subscribe button, hit the no notification bell, and we will continue on watching these 501 must-see movies. Have a great week.